How's it going? Welcome back to James Chats. Now, I am a huge fan of the Villainous board game. There's Disney Villainous, the Disney Villainous expansions, and Marvel Villainous. As you can see, that's a lot of board games. Between all of these, Marvel included, there are 23 playable characters. For each of those characters, there's a game piece, there's a game board, and there's a deck of cards. There's like a thousand cards. So I wanted to come up with a more elegant solution to storing all of it. Because, you know, post quarantine, I want to be able to take this to my friend's house and have a board game night. But this, this isn't very good for traveling, you know? It's not very good. So I came up with a solution. Well, I'm gonna introduce the Villainous Storage Pack. Boom, baby! Look at this. Look at this beauty right here. This is a camera storage case that I found on Amazon for about $27. It measures 13 inches by 10 inches by 5 inches. So it's actually, I mean, it's it's not that big. It's not, it's, it's very reasonably sized. It's sturdy, it has a handle, it has some latches, and it has a shoulder strap here. So you can, you know, I don't even, I don't even use my hands. I don't even, look at this. I can just sling it over my shoulder. I'm ready to game, let's go. I did a lot of research on Amazon and I this is actually the third case option that I purchased. I had to return the other two because they didn't work. Um, but hey, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm and we got the perfect case right here. Then as an added touch, I use my vinyl cutter to cut the logo out in silver vinyl so that it just, it looks, oh, I'm so, listen, I'm so proud of this. It looks amazing. Obviously, if you don't have or have access to a vinyl cutter, you could paint on here, you could print something off and glue it, you could make a stencil and spray paint it. There are a lot of options for customizing this case, and that's also one of the reasons why I like this case, being a, a hard cover, is you can, you can paint it, you can customize it, you can make it your own. By the way, before I forget, I also will occasionally stream Villainous on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash jameschats. Check the link in the description down below if you wanna come hang out. It's a lot of fun there. Okay, sorry, tangent over, continue. Now let's take a look inside. Okay, we got two latches in the front, bada bing, bada boom. Open it up and there's everything. There's all of the Villainous content. We've got our instruction manuals for both Marvel and Disney here right on top. I would like to note that initially the case came with this egg crate foam in the top portion of the case, as well as this pluck and pull foam in the middle. This, I'm just gonna find something to repurpose it for. And this was just a little bit too thick for the clearance. So what I did was I pulled this out and I put this thin piece of foam that also came with the case in the top instead. So that way we have padded foam on the top and bottom. On the left, we have our decks of cards. These are the Disney Villainous cards, and these are all the cards that come with Marvel Villainous. For the Disney ones, I went ahead and printed out these tuck box designs that somebody else made. Link will be in the description down below. And yeah, you just download it, print it out, cut out the, the design, fold along the lines, and glue it together, and you have tuck boxes customized to each villain, which is great. They're not perfect. But you know what? They turned out pretty good. A couple bits of advice when making these. One, I scaled these up by 4%. So they're just a little bit bigger than the designs that I downloaded. I, I scaled them up in Photoshop and then I printed them out. And that gives me a little extra room for, um, for things like the tile cards that come with some of these decks. And uh, just so it's not too snug. Second, I would say just go straight for the hot glue gun. One, it immediately cures and two, I think it adds a little extra structural integrity to the boxes. So uh, yeah, I, I, I just say go for the hot glue. I don't have tuck boxes for the Marvel Villainous ones. I'm sure somebody has designed them, but in the meantime, I just have these pieces of paper wrapped around them and taped. So they kind of have their own little little containers. They're all, they're all separated, but I'm not, as concerned about that right now. And then right here, we just have a bag of Marvel specific tokens. The Marvel stuff, I'm not as worried about staying in here because if they keep releasing more Disney expansions, obviously those are gonna go in this case and the Marvel stuff is gonna go back in the base box. But I had the room now, so I figured I'd put it all into here. So that way it's all in one storage container. I could probably fit one more expansion with the Marvel stuff in here. So even with it, it is still future proof, which I love. But if I take the Marvel stuff out, I could, I could, pretty comfortably say there's room for three more Disney expansions, which is 
fantastic. Moving over to the middle portion, we have this little pencil container to store all of my Disney tokens. Now in this side, we have the power tokens, which I would just use for the Marvel stuff if I were to take this case somewhere. And then over here, we have special tokens like the Fates, the Lock tokens, and um, certain tokens that are specific to villains. Like we have the Gaston and Cruella tokens here. We have the goals for Pete. And and that's it. <laughs> Those are the, I guess there are three villains that have their own things. This little case was $5 on Amazon. Link will be in the description down below. And it's great. It uh, It's nice and slim. I can take the lid off and tuck it underneath like that. Put it in the middle of the table. We got a nice big tray here for all of the power tokens. And when I'm ready to put it away, you just boom, clip that up. Good to go. And I hot glued a piece of foam core in here as a divider to separate the power tokens from the specialty tokens. All right, let's move that to the side. Here we have all of the villain guides. On top we have the Disney ones. Then we have our action symbols, little cheat sheets. And then our Marvel ones with their cheat sheets as well. That tucks nicely right there. I'm gonna put that to the side for now. We do have this little tile, which is specific to Radigan. It's longer than the decks of cards, so it kind of just floats around in here. I might actually put it here. That makes that makes more sense. I'm gonna put that right there. And then we have our game boards, which all sit nicely on top of one another, just like so. All the Disney ones on top, and then we got the Marvel ones down below, because it doesn't get as much use as the Disney stuff. If they continue releasing expansion after expansion, which I think they will, and I look forward to it, um, it might get a little too snug in this case, so what I'll end up doing is probably removing the top and bottom foam because they take away quite a bit of room in the case. It adds nice cushioning, but as you can see, there's a lot of a lot of space that could be made up by taking that foam out, and then maybe I'll just line it with some thin felt. And by taking that foam out, I think we'd be able to stand these upright. I can put these this way for now. And then finally, we have all of the player pieces. The case did come with two of these little dividers here. I went ahead and used one to keep those separate from everything else. Again, if space becomes an issue, I can probably just take that out and let them sit freely in there. There's a lot of room to grow with this case, which is what I love. It's compact, it fits everything, and it can fit more, you know? And that's everything inside of the case. We can put our little pencil box back in there. We can put our instruction manuals back. We can, uh, we can close it up. Buckle it and take it to a friend's place. And there you have it, the ultimate villainous storage solution. How many people were actually looking for this video? Probably not that many, but I know there are some of you out there who are just as obsessed as I am and wanted a solution to carry everything in one compact, travel-ready container. I mean, this is great. Look at this. Look, look at this. I'm ready to go. Want to play some games? Again, I will be leaving links to everything in the video description. If you decide to pick anything up because of this video, I encourage you to use those links because they are affiliate links and they support this channel. Before we go, quick shout out to Ravensburger for sending me Despicable Plots. Appreciate you. You got, you, you get me. You get me. You know, you know what I'm about. And I appreciate you sending me this copy. Let me know who your favorite villain is to play as in the comment section down below. I think Jafar is my favorite one. I always come back to Jafar, but there's a lot. I love Captain Hook. I, lo I, like, I really like Lady Tremaine, Mother Gothel, I love Hades. I've, I tend to like the ones that have lower win ability, but I just like them. They're fun. I like, I like all the mechanics that go into winning as them. All right, I'm going to go. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.